Hey guys, Dee Dee here. How are you're doing? I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while <laughs> since I filmed a video. I I don't even know. I have just been like really unmotivated, like really unmotivated to film. Uh, just really unmotivated to do anything, to be honest. Like this, my neck, what the, always something. This lockdown's just been, ugh, you know, it's just blah. So anyway, I'm back, I'm here, I'm filming, and of course I'm gonna be showing you guys some plants that I have bought because, you know, what is life without buying plants? <laughs> and I was hoping that some of you guys out there, if you are, you know, good at identifying plants, you could give me a name of some of the plants that I have. So. I have a box here. These ones, I, I know what's in here. Not anything super interesting, probably, to a lot of you. Uh, you know, there's no, like, rare plants, anything like that. You can probably see some of the plants that I have. <laughs> so, oh, God. Again, the struggles of getting into the box. So, yeah, how have you guys been doing? How is the new year? Did you guys watch the inauguration? I watched most of it. Uh, some of it, you know, it, it went on for, like, hours. And, and hours <laughs> but it was pretty cool it was uh yeah i don't know it was really kind of like motivating and uplifting so this is a new plant shop that i haven't bought from from bought from before but they had some orchids that i have been looking for at a really good price so i was like you know what Let, let's do it and that is because Brexit, you guys, if it, well, if you don't know, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't know about Brexit, but basically Brexit is screwing us over with any orchids that we may want to, or plants basically in general, that we'd like to buy from the EU because they are just basically not shipping to us anymore. So mainly I think the orchids that we'll be able to get are the ones that you get in the supermarket, which are always pretty much Phalaenopsis orchids. So, you know, you got you got to take what we can when I can. So, uh... There is soil everywhere, which, oh yeah. Okay, so we've got a care guide. That's probably my receipt. And uh, I guess these, oh, wait, what? Why have I got so many? Um, okay, there's one, two, three, five, five things in here. Huh, uh, I only ordered three. So, huh, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice surprise, so I guess, uh, just see see what's in here, I guess. Oh, they stapled it at the top. Just gotta be very careful. Okay, so this is the first one, which I was hoping there'd be a label because now I won't know what colour is what. So this does not look very good. This is an Oncidium orchid. It's meant to be an Oncidium twinkle. So they had an Oncidium twinkle white and yellow. I already have the yellow, so I wanted the white one. Uh, I'm not sure what colour that is. <laughs> so that will be a fun surprise. Oh god, oh god, it's all falling out. Okay, okay. Okay, this is another one that obviously all the flowers blasted. Uh, okay, another twinkle. I think this is the red one. So uh, that's soil. What is this potted in? Ah, I think it's potted in cocoa core. So I assume they sent me quite a few orchids when I only ordered two, which I'm not complaining about. Uh, hopefully, you know, orchids you can still you know, keep, oh wow, oh wow, this has got, had loads of flowers on it. So this is the, was the white, oh god, the white twinkle. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's got that like fake chocolate smell. I love, I just love the twinkles, they're miniature. This had one, two, three, four flower spikes. I'm wondering if they were induced. Uh, but this looks like a healthy specimen, so I'm excited about that. And then I guess they sent me another one. Which, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So I can put them and plant them together. And then, oh, this one looks like to be another white one. So we have a, another white one there. So I ordered two and I got four. So I'm not, I'm not mad about that <laughs> because I can save all of those, repot them, keep caring for them and hopefully get more blooms next year. I don't think I'd get as many blooms because uh, I'm pretty sure they, they induce those blooms with hormones but you know it's it's fun. I love to have you know more orchids especially like fragrant orchids and that's something I'm really looking forward to. And then the oh god it's basically all falling out of the gym. 
uh, is the, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> all the saws out of there. This is a variegated elephant bush, so I think it's Porticularia variegata, I think. And I got this because I wanted to try and do a bonsai tree out of this, which, you know, it's going to be easy, I think, but I've never done it before. Uh, I'm trying to make like my jade, if you guys have seen, I'm trying to make that like a bonsai. I don't know why, I just feel like they look really cool as like miniature trees instead of like giant bushes. Because I know if you've ever seen like, um, you know, like mature specimens of these plants, like they're freaking huge. So I'm hoping that I can keep them, you know, miniature and in tree form. So I'm excited for that. Uh, this is just kind of, <laughs> yep, I, I, I might just leave that there. Oh, God. Ghosts in my house, man. Ghosts in my house. <laughs> and deal with that in a little bit. So the next thing that I have picked up recently is this Fetonia and the reason I picked this Fetonia up is because my Fetonia Frankie, which is living behind me, it's not doing so hot. <laughs> so you can see this is kind of like what's left of it. I kind of repotted it because it was, you know, splayed all out. So I kind of repotted it so that they're closer together. But it basically hasn't really recovered from the thrip very well. Uh, like my other one has, it's just not, it's not living its best life. And it makes me sad because I really like this, this Fetonia because it's very different from any other Fetonia. It's got like the serrated edges and crispy because I don't know why, it's just hating life. So, you know, I was sad and I was like, oh, this is a nice one. So I decided to pick up this one, which I think is really gorgeous. Uh, it's not got as much pink on it as it should, so I'm wondering if I should maybe put it in a bit more of a highlight situation just to get a bit more of that pink to come out. I'm holding it I hope it will survive, but I know, anyway, like, Fetonia aren't, like, long-lived plants anyway, so, you know, I hope, I hope it will survive, but if it doesn't, it's not a big deal, you know, it's not a big deal. And then I have this one, so maybe, you know, eventually this one will come back on the market and I can get another one, so... Yeah, I need to give this a water. I've just, I've just realised. I have like a giant vase of water that I was watering my Tillandsia in yesterday. Because, uh, I, you know, I need a big vessel to put my giant Tillandsia in. <laughs> and so now I can just kind of reuse this water. So yeah, that is that one, which also now lives behind me. Just about reached. And then I got two cacti, which... Obviously I have no idea what the name is because again, they like to just call them cacti. <laughs> so it's not helpful and if any of you guys know the name of these guys, I would, you know, I'd much appreciate you leaving the name and telling me what they are because I just think they're freaking cool. So this is what, one of the ones that I've picked up. It's like a blue cactus. It has some spines, not really a lot, but it's just gorgeous. Like, oh my god, I'm seeing it in the camera and it just looks so much more like, oh my god. and. I'm just, I don't know why, I'm like getting into the cacti recently, like more and more, <laughs> especially like the blue coloured cacti. So this is another one that I picked up and I don't think the camera, if it wants to focus on it, is going to get it, pick it up properly, but it's got like this purple like tone at the top and it's really, oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Like when you look at it in real life, like the edging and the top, it's like purple and it's just gorgeous. These spikes though. These spikes are not gorgeous. They they are not gorgeous. I have pricked myself God knows how many times. Oh, it's just, yeah. <laughs> so those are the other two I got and uh, they came in these cute little terracotta pots. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I, I'm excited. So yeah, that's a couple of, couple of plants. I'm now gonna spend my time repotting all of these oncidians and uh, hopefully figuring out what is what. <laughs> Because I don't know, this has no bloom. Anyway, this, this one looks like it's, it's dead anyway, so I'm gonna see if I can save that. So I've just taken apart all of my twinkles and honestly, I don't hold out hope for the red one. Uh, it's in bad condition, but I am going to try and rehab all of it. This one's also not in terrible condition. It's got a good root system. Hopefully it's got like two new growths coming. This one is atrocious. This is the red one. <laughs> It's basically all shriveled up. This is a new new growth, but I don't know if anything's gonna come of that. And then this guy, some of these guys have like rot on them. I don't know if you can see like in the middle, they've got rot. And then I have these guys left. 
So these are all going to go into rehab and I'm going to get like my spag and my bark mixture out and then hopefully rehab these guys and hopefully they'll survive. So um, yeah, not the best of news. Uh, <laughs> they were in like a really, I wouldn't even say this is like, some of them had spag in the mi middle, it's really like wet and the bulbs were like covered and it was just too moist, it was just too moist. Some of them have been rotting. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna put them in and hopefully they recover and do really well. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, shit like this happens. <laughs> just gotta deal with it and try and save them. And then, you know, I can always contact the company and ask them, you know, I don't know, for something. <laughs> a refund, like a part refund or something like that, even though they did send me more than what I, I you know, I asked for, so. Yeah, anyway, that was that, and uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's uh, not, again, like I said, not like super interesting plants, but you know, some some plants <laughs> that I, I've kind of wanted, like uh, the twinkles, again, like I said, I love like the twinkles, they're miniature, they don't take up a lot of space, and the blooms, like, uh, you know, depending <laughs> how well you take care of them, you can have gorgeous blooms, and they smell sometimes nice, sometimes a bit gross but you know I'm excited that I have them and I need to ow <laughs> just stab myself on the cactus you go over there freaking damn thing oh, man oh anyways <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna have a look at this guy a little bit more as well and see how I can uh design it maybe a little bit more maybe it's already in the shape of a bonsai and I don't really need to do a lot so that would be awesome as well so yeah I hope you guys are doing well I hope life is uh you know, not too terrible. I know like lockdown is going on forever. I feel like it's going on forever. <laughs> and I'm like, I miss going plant shopping. Like I really want to go, you know, plant I, I just, I want to go plant shopping, but again, I don't really want to go out a lot. So that's why I've been doing a lot of kind of like online shopping. So yeah, mm, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I'm just rambling as usual. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll catch you guys soon with another one.